In this video, we are going to look at the user interface of Google Classroom and how to navigate it. I'll also be pointing out different aspects of that um, and how to adjust settings to control communication. Uh, if you missed the first video on how to set up a Google Classroom and add students, you might want to go back and watch that. Okay, so in the this is the classroom that we set up in the previous video, and you can see that there's nothing in here yet, so there's not much to be able to see. Uh, if I show you one of my existing classes, then there'll be more to see in that classroom. In fact, I'll show you this one. So you can see here, this is the stream. So you've got these four tabs at the top, stream, classwork, people, and marks. Uh, people we've already looked at because you would have gone there when you added students to your classroom. The main two you want to look at is stream and classwork. We're not going to pay much attention to marks because this is uh, a way to assess work in Google Classroom and if you're using uh, your own uh, school management software um, like Simon, then you would be doing most of that assessment through that. So we're just going to focus on stream and classwork. Now the stream is like your class's news feed. Any time that I have added a material or an assessment task, it pops up here. Uh, the stream you can see here is another opportunity for you to communicate with the students and for the students to communicate with you. So here is just a, a message that I've sent to my students. And when I've sent that, they would have all received an email with that information on there. I can add to that comment or the students will be able to add to that comment and the students will be able to reply to each other's comments. So this kind of acts like a just a communication device. Think of it like the, the general communications that you would have on in your own physical classroom where people can communicate with each other. When students communicate with me or when they communicate with each other, I'll receive an email um, indicating that communication. If there's a lot of communication going on and I don't want that many emails, what I want to do is go over into settings and you can see here you have the opportunity to turn on and off notifications. So you'll receive emails uh, if you have comments on the posts, if comments mention you, um, if students are submitting work late or resubmitting work, uh, you'll receive an email for each one of those. They can be really helpful because it means that you don't have to access Classroom to know when students are commenting or submitting work. But if there's a lot of action going on, you might want to turn some of those off and this is where you'll go to do that. Notice down the bottom here that you are able to do that on a class-by-class -class basis as well. So that can be really helpful. Okay, if we go back into that classroom that we were just in, over here we have the classwork page. We're gonna go into much more detail in that in the next video, but you can see the classwork page is the page where you go to send, receive work, and to add materials for the students to access.